Chapter 7 After the wall was finished and I had hung the doors in the gates, the gatekeepers, singers, and Levites were appointed. I gave the responsibility of governing Jerusalem to my brother Hanani, along with Hananiah, the commander of the fortress, for he was a faithful man who feared God more than most. I said to them, Do not leave the gates open during the hottest part of the day, and while the gatekeepers are still on duty, have them shut and bar the doors. Appoint the residents of Jerusalem to act as guards, everyone on a regular watch. Some will serve at their regular posts, and some in front of their own homes. At that time the city was large and spacious, but the population was small, and only a few houses were scattered throughout the city. So my God gave me the idea to call together all the leaders of the city, along with the ordinary citizens, for registration. I had found the genealogical record of those who had first returned to Judah. This is what was written there. Here is the list of the Jewish exiles of the provinces who returned from their captivity to Jerusalem and to the other towns of Judah. They had been deported to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar. Their leaders were Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Seraiah, Reeleiah, Nehemanai, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvai, Rehum, and Beana. This is the number of men of Israel who returned from exile. The family of Parush, 2,172. The family of Shephatiah, 372. The family of Era, 652. The family of Pehath Moab, descendants of Jeshua and Joab, 2,818. The family of Elam, 1,254. The family of Zetu, 845. The family of Zekai, 760. The family of Benai, 648. The family of Bibai, 628. The family of Ezgad, 2,322. The family of Adonaikam, 667. The family of Bigvai, 2,067. The family of Aden, 655. The family of Eter, descendants of Hezekiah, 98. The family of Heshum, 328. The family of Bizai, 324. The family of Jorah, 112. The family of Gibar, 95. The peoples of Bethlehem and Netophah, 188. The people of Anathoth, 128. The people of Bethaz Maveth, 42. The peoples of Kiriath Jirim, Kephira, and Beeroth, 743. The peoples of Rema and Geba, 621. The people of Michmash, 122. The peoples of Bethel and Ai, 123. The people of Nebo, 52. The citizens of Elam, 1254. The citizens of Harum, 320. The citizens of Jericho, 345. The citizens of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 721. The citizens of Senea, 3930. These are the priests who returned from exile. The family of Jediah, through the line of Jeshua, 973. The family of Emer, 1052. The family of Pashur, 1247. The family of Harim, 1017. These are the Levites who returned from exile. The families of Jeshua and Kadmiel, descendants of Hodaviah, 74. The singers of the family of Asaph, 148. The gatekeepers of the families of Shalom, Eter, Talmon, Akub, Hatata, and Shobai, 138. The descendants of the following temple servants returned from exile, Zaicha, Hasufa, Tabeoth, Kiros, Zayacha, Pedon, Lebana, Hagaba, Shalmai, Hinan, Gidel, Gehar, Riaia, Rizen, Nikoda, Gezam, Uza, Pasea, Pesai, Meonim, Nefusim, Bakbuk, Hakufa, Harhur, Basluth, Mahida, Harsha, Barkos, Sisera, Tima, Nizaya, and Hatifa. The descendants of these servants of King Solomon returned from exile, Sotai, Sophereth, Peruda, Jaala, Darkon, Gidel, Shephatiah, Hetil, Pokereth, Hazebaim, and Amai. In all, the temple servants and the descendants of Solomon's servants numbered 392. Another group returned to Jerusalem at this time from the towns of Tel Mila, Tel Harsha, Kirub, 
Adan and Emer. However, they could not prove that they or their families were descendants of Israel. This group included the families of Deleiah, Tobiah, and Nakoda, a total of 642 people. Three families of priests, Hobeiah, Hekoz, and Barzillai, also returned to Jerusalem. This Barzillai had married a woman who was a descendant of Barzillai of Gilead, and he had taken her family name. But they had lost their genealogical records, so they were not allowed to serve as priests. The governor would not even let them eat the priest's share of food from the sacrifices until there was a priest who could consult the Lord about the matter by means of sacred lots. So a total of 42,360 people returned to Judah, in addition to 7,337 servants and 245 singers, both men and women. They took with them 736 horses, 245 mules, 435 camels, and 6,720 donkeys. Some of the family leaders gave gifts for the work. The governor gave to the treasury 1,000 gold coins, 50 gold basins, and 530 robes for the priests. The other leaders gave to the treasury a total of 20,000 gold coins and some 2,750 pounds of silver for the work. The rest of the people gave 20,000 gold coins, about 2,500 pounds of silver, and 67 robes for the priests. So the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the temple servants, along with some of the people, that is to say all Israel, settled in their own towns. Now in mid-autumn, when the Israelites had settled in their towns, all the people assembled together as one person at the square just inside the water gate. They asked Ezra the scribe to bring out the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had given for Israel to obey.